What's up, gang? 8.30 in the a.m. on Wednesday, November 2nd, 2016. Oh, hope nobody heard me. Have you ever heard of GoPro Chicken? Wow, um, I'm I'm hesitating to speak because I want to use foul language, but I should probably cut that out. I don't think most people don't want to hear that crap, that poop. Nobody wants to hear me use poop words. So anyway, a little tired out, riding out to uh. Meet Rick Vipermoto, uh, hang out for a bit at Barnes and Noble. So let's proceed, shall we? Oh, yeah, and by the way, it is rush hour traffic. Non stop traffic. The left lane's clearly more clear, faster going, but I like preparing ahead of time because I need to take a right hand turn up here and uh, with a bike I mean with a bike doesn't matter as much because you can squeeze into pretty much anywhere but uh, in my car I always I'm in the habit of staying in this lane no matter how bad the traffic is just so I don't have to worry about getting over all right no plan no plan of attack no uh, particular uh, vlog subject in mind. I'm just making this video for something to do. I know uh, my last video wasn't so successful. I don't know if YouTube didn't alert people that I had uploaded it or not, but I only got like 18 views on it. So GoPro Chicken, uh, this might be the end. Might be the end of, uh, we had a good run. We had a good run. I mean, I don't care. I mean, I care that, you know, it's, I make a video that someone would get something decent out of you know whether it be uh, just entertaining or uh, something educational or whatever but ain't nobody got time for that so I'm just vlogging for the pure joy of vlogging recording a video and editing it and putting it on YouTube for uh, 18 people to see um, I get, well, what's stuck in my head, I'm having trouble because what's stuck in my head is I was watching this National Geographic video, uh, basically a documentary movie on YouTube before I left home uh, about uh, climate change headed, uh, headed up by uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, I know some people refer to him as Leonardo DiCaprio, which I, I don't get it, man. I think the guy's badass. I wouldn't mind being him. He's cool, but uh, he uh, he's kind of like, you know, the host of the documentary. But, you know, some of the things they're saying in that documentary about climate change is like, you know, I mean, it makes scientific sense, you know. Miami, I think already, uh, Miami uh, has problems with flooding at high tide, so they're They've got a $400 million project going on to uh, help solve the issue um, because uh, suppose, supposedly the ocean is uh, getting higher. I don't know. We don't seem to be affected here. I mean, we would be. It's, you know, we're right here at sea level. All, pretty much the whole Florida coast is. But, uh,. I don't know. What do you what do you do you believe in uh, climate change and uh, the the sea level rising? I mean, they're talking about they visited uh, Antarctica um, or the Arctic, and uh, there was already so much ice that had melted away, and uh, it's looking kind of grim actually. And they are saying that it's all caused by uh, human uh, human activity with fossil fuels and uh, gas and. Uh, coal burning and whatnot. So, do you believe that? I mean, it shouldn't. At this point, it shouldn't be a question of belief. It should be. I mean, it's it's science. It's 
it's measurable, it's calculatable, calculatable, is that a word? It shouldn't be about belief, it should be about educating yourself to the point of knowing because they seem to have all the information. So, heard some statistic that uh, something like uh, a lot of Florida will be underwater in like a hundred years or something, so I think um, I'm going to have to sell my property here uh, before, the, before the property depreciates. Roads are damp, it rained last night, it's drying up pretty quick though, sun's out. So. Whoa, this guy's driving off the road. No more talking. I'll be back.